Thanks, Green. Uh, the senators are having some talks this week about an immigration deal that would unlock uh, Ukraine aid. Is the White House plan to get involved with those, even sit, on, sit in on them? I'm just not going to negotiate from here. Okay. You mentioned the uh, president's excited to be celebra celebrating his birthday, but I'm curious. David Axelrod told the New York Times, quote, Biden thinks he can cheat nature here, and it's really risky. A, what's the president's response to David Axelrod? Does he respect his opinion? Does he think he's right? But also, I mean, is there a real alarm happening behind the scenes that the president is simply too old to stake around for another four years? No, there's no alarm happening behind the scenes. Not, there, I, I can only speak sure. behind the scenes here. There's no alarm happening behind the scenes, and I'm certainly not going to uh, comment on uh, everybody who has something to say. Uh, uh, what I didn't say that. I didn't. I, yeah. Nowhere in my response to you that I said that. I said I'm just not going to comment on everyone that has a, that has a comment to say. They're going to speak for themselves. I'm going to speak for the president. And here, will I, what I'll say is, look. Um, and also, it's just not my job. It's not my job to think to, to think through or to um, uh, to tell people what to think, right? Whether it's an, uh, the American American people out there, or uh, or a a you know political analyst, or or as your question is about David Axelrod, it's just not my 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 place to speak to that. What I can speak to is how we see this, how what our perspective is. Our perspective is that it's not about age; it's about the president's experience. That's what we believe. And it's, you know, as they say, the proof is in the pudding, right? The president has used his experience to pass more bipartisan legislation in recent time than any other president. That's just a fact. That is something that we have seen this president do, and that's because of his experience. He's been able to manage multiple, uh, multiple foreign policy challenges. That's, he's been able to do that. That's because of his experience. He's been able to create jobs, raise wages, and lower inflation. Right, and that is also that is the proof is in the pudding. Right, we see that in the data. We see that where we are today than where we are than where we were when the president walked into the administration. So what we say is we have to judge him by what he's done, not by his numbers. And and one more thing I will add: this is the first president ever that's been able to go to an active war zone without our military, uh, you know, c controlling what's happening on the ground. And so look, um, I would put. The president's stamina, the president's wisdom, ability to get this done on behalf of, of uh, the American people against anyone, anyone on any day of the week. All right, go ahead. 